All right, so what you got going on in the hills, man? Uh -huh. is we, we see this very often. All right, so what is this? Of course, it's, it's callous skin okay. that builds up over the years because of pressure and friction. Uh -huh. And then after a while, you know, it, it can't build up higher anymore, so it just begins to crack. Right. And these little deep cracks, we call these fissures. Fissures? Mm -hmm. F-I-S-S-U-R-E. So... For some people, they can get so deep that it begins to bleed. I do have bleeding for. Okay. I have gotten so dry that it, that it kind of like stains a little bit, but mm -hmm. they know I'm still bleeding for. Okay. Some people, you know, they can, the discomfort is so much they can barely walk. Oh, wow. You'd be okay here. Let's see. Big piece here. I don't want to be too aggressive with the clipper here. It will cause I mean, is it that like after you put two cause it can be so thick? Well, that, that can contribute to the dryness. And then you have biomechanical issues that contribute to the chronic friction. What's that? Now biomechanics has to do with uh, the shape of your foot, uh -huh. your activity level, you know, how long you've been doing certain things, whether uh -huh. it be fitness or whether it be occupation. Like you, you work in customer service yeah, at an that, airport. You're on, your, you're on your feet all day. Right. Okay. You know, so if you were somewhere doing data entry, you know, clipping away on a computer all day. Sit yeah, you wouldn't uh, have as much of a problem like this. Right. Yeah. You know, then, then, you know, body weight, again, foot type. You know, a lot of pressure on the heel here. Let's see if I can do that without being too aggressive. So what have you been doing for this at home? Anything? No. Okay. I mean, that... that Honestly, it hasn't really cracked in a long time. I got like real, real dry. Mm -hmm. Which is something I, I usually see in like the summertime. Right. But it never has been. My, my, my heels haven't been there. Probably just, they just hard to look at. Gotcha. So you'll see a, people you try to deal with this at home when it gets to this point. Uh, and there's really nothing you can do at home at this, for this. I don't know about one of them cheese gravies. Oh, no, no, no. That, that wasn't going to do the trick. Oh, wow. You know, when it gets to this point. I don't like recommending those anyway, because people hurt themselves with those things. You know, the straight down is going to the, uh, you know, kind of curve. Is that a good idea? Well, once we get it under control here, because uh -huh. you, you can go there as often as you need to. Right. Uh, to help keep it under control. As I'm getting this all down, you know, we can see exactly how deep the cracks are. Uh, yeah, some of them are. And then if you know you try to use any creams or anything like that, home, it's not really going to be effective either. Want to stick? Huh? Want to stick. stick like this? Yeah, okay. you do okay up here, in the, like in the arches of your feet right. and stuff like that. But here in the hill is going to need some, some little bit more significant work. Stick like this, you got to work in small areas. Just because when people try to use the, the cheese grater and stuff like that, mm. I'll be just really whacking at, whacking away at it and not really getting it all down. Yeah. 
one thing I want to recommend for you, as well as the antifungal cream, uh -huh. to get urea cream. U R E A. U R E A. Yeah. Urea. Mm hmm. You know, prescribe it or no, that's over the counter. We used, we used to be able to prescribe it, but it's over the counter now. Okay. You can get it on. You might be able to find it locally, but you can definitely get it online. You get like 40, 47% or 50%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Did you have a guy that's on YouTube called The Traveler Man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my yeah. cousin said when he came back. Yeah, that guy came up from Florida. Yeah, that's what you Is that you? That's my cousin. Oh, okay. I don't want to try to avoid you. Oh, he, see, he sent you a clip? Yeah, he sent me a clip. I guess he was watching the show all the time. Uh huh. And he asked, told me to ask me when the travel man come back. I said, huh? And he said, the guy from Florida. Mm -hmm. And he said, we come back. Gotcha. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's the best way. That's uh -huh. the best. Word of mouth is the best way, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You tell me you're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. All the way to California. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what's also going to help uh -huh. with the heels is uh, heel cups. You say heel? Heel cups. Heel cups. Heel cups. Heel cups. Yeah, they go inside your shoes. Uh -huh. They hold your heel, give you some, some shock absorption. Okay. All right. Help relieve some of the pressure that they will crack. Mm hmm. I'll show you what they look like. Okay. Much better.
You know, we're getting a lot of thickness off. The little cracks that remain, the urea will be able to get in there. The urea will be able to get down deep into those crevices now. You it will be? Yeah. Before, there was no way they were getting on it. Yeah, yeah, but that wasn't going to do it. Not without debriding all of this thickness down first. There's just something that just won't replace a scalpel, man. Right. Oh, you know what? Like, I forgot to tell you. What's that? Uh, he did have me put some kind of like toenail polish on my toenail. Oh, oh, okay. Anti was it antifungal? I can't hold that over. Yeah, I, again, when the nails are thick like that, yeah. not going to do the trick. Uh, All right, let me blade here. Come down to the last part, man. Oh. To come down to the last part where we got everything smoothed out. Okay. All right, so I'm putting this uh, sugar scrub on. Okay. Since the uh, battery died on the Dremel, right. you always got to have a backup plan. Yes, sir. So this is a Scrub made with sugar and pepper. And pepper? Mm-hmm. Oh, you scrub it off? Yep. Oh, okay. Scrub it off.
My sister makes this stuff, man. Oh, right? Yeah. So whenever they're using a scrub, take it off in circular motions. Come on, like so. Whether it be sugar, sea salt, whatever they have in the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Are you able to reach down to the bottom of your feet pretty good? Uh -huh. All right, good. Because this is the, something that would also help you as well. Say what now? Do, doing a, a daily scrub okay. will also help you as well. You work small areas at a time. Gotcha. Like so. Now, is there anything uh, in particular I should get to, like, do a, a scrub? Yeah, you get the, uh, like the, the, the facial pads. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They have the little abrasive. And they will help scrub off the dead skin as well, exfoliate, you know? Gotcha. So the same stuff to exfoliate your skin. Exactly. I get it for my feet. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Or you use pumice stone or callus file, nothing sharp. Alright man, not a bad workout this morning. Not a bad workout at all. Yeah, we're that. Shea butter on here now. It's also a very good moisturizer. Shea butter? Mm-hmm. I got to put shea butter on. Sure. So let's let's go back to square one. I mean, just the medication alone is not gonna do the trick. You not? Not by itself. Okay. All the other things we talked about. Uh, you write everything down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we talked about uh, alternating the shoes, disinfecting yeah. your shoes at the end of the day completely. Yeah. Right. So that's going to play a, a big role, especially dealing with the athlete's foot and the, and the uh, fungal nail infection. Again, uh, as far as the bottom of the feet, mm -hmm. not just the uh, antifungal medication you need. He said all that's over the counter. Hmm? No, no, the, the antifungal I'm going to prescribe for. Okay. okay. The urea is going to be... Hey, where do I find that? If you can't find it locally in the store, it's available on, on, online. Like what, Amazon? Amazon, different places like that, yeah. What's the name of it? Urea. I'm going to, I'm going to send you all that information. Okay. Yeah. All right, my man. Very good. Last one. All right. Again, appreciate you coming out, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, we'll, we'll see you back soon. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends. For more videos like this, click on these. But most importantly, Take care of your feet.